All right, welcome back. Uh, today we're actually going to put in our first NPC. Um, we're not actually going to do anything. We're actually going to be uh, looking strictly at the placement of the NPC and the directions. Um, for this, we're just going to create our first NPC and load it in the server and look at all the different aspects of what we can do and what we can change with this. So uh, let's go ahead and go to our Arathena folder. And then we're going to go down to NPC. And our four dummies, so this is, we're going to do all of our NPCs inside four dummies. Um, in this case, we're actually going to create a new folder under four dummies. And we're going to separate them by chapters. This way, everything's kind of a little easier for everybody. So we're going to new folder. We're just going to call it chapter one. Or let's just call it what it is. Let's just call it basics. Okay, so we have chapter one. Create a new folder and call it basics. That's going to load real quick. All right. In the basics, we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call this uh, starter.txt. This is going to be our very first NPC. So we're going to hit enter, and then that file is going to load, and boom. Okay, so here's our NPC folder. This is our first file. This is what we're going to create. Um, the first thing you know, everybody needs to know for an NPC is where am I going to put it? So I'm going to open up my RO. Here I am. So I'm in right not online. Uh, let's say we want to put our first NPC. We're just going to put them right over here in the corner. And so we're going to do that. We're going to stand where you want. I'm going to type in slash W-H-E-R-E slash where. This will tell you where you are. You hit that. And you'll see that you're on the map of Pontera at X coordinate 148, Y coordinate 176. So that is the first thing you need to know about your NPC. So we do Pantera. I'm going to do again 148176. Alright, so we hit notice how that's Pantera, comma, 148, comma, 176, comma. And the next argument is the direction. Now the direction is really fun. Um, we'll, we'll play with that in just a second and I can show you exactly what that does. Um, or I'll pop in, I'll probably put a pop over here in a second. So the direction, uh, I always put four facing downward south. Uh, so four is south, and if you go uh, clockwise, it goes through eight, and then starts again at one. Um, so one would be uh, north. No, I'm sorry, one would be north. I don't know. I'll skip, I'll erase it. Okay, so we put number four in for direction, because that's what I use for testing. We're going to go through, and next thing we have to do is hit tap. It's not a space, it's not anything else, it's a tab. Uh, so make sure that you have a tab character and then a space character or tabs converted to spaces. It must be a tab. Um, then you write the word script. Tell it that it's a script. Because it is, it's a script. Uh, again, once you do that, you hit tab. Now the NPC needs a display name. Display name can be anything you want up to 24 characters. Uh, you probably want to stick away from special characters. But we can call this uh, starter. NPC. Um, every also every NPC will also have a way to have a unique name. A unique name uh, lets you reuse the same display names, but still be able to um, ah, what's the word? Still be able to call each in the NPC independently. So by doing so, you hit the pound button, shift three on most keyboards, and then you can even just put in a number. You put zero zero one. You put a uh, hidden. You can type whatever you want. Um, this doesn't really matter for our NPCs because we're only making one of them. Um, but I'll put it in there anyway. So uh, the unique name is not displayed. Um, only the starter NPC will be displayed to the player. Uh, this just lets you, when you need to uh, get information for a specific NPC or call a specific NPC, you can use the entirety to know which one you're actually calling. Um, so we'll do that. Next, we hit tab. This here will be the sprite ID. Um, sprite IDs are being deprecated um, in favor of the sprite name. Uh, I personally don't have a sprite name on me right now, um, and they still work. So we're going to use mine. I use 88 for testing just because it's very easy to remember. Um, so you put 88, you hit a comma, and then you open your brackets. Now, again, it's not a square bracket. It's a squiggly bracket. You open those up, and you hit enter, and that'll make your little uh, box. So that's the NPC header. Again, you have the map, X, sorry, map, X, Y, uh, direction, 
tab script, tab display name, pound unique name, uh, tab ID, comma, brackets. And that creates your first NPC. So we're going to go ahead and save this file. We'll see it save here in a second. Next, we need to tell the server that we also want to load this file. So we're going to go into our scripts main. Now again, we've already loaded or imported scripts main, so the server knows to use this file to load our NPCs. The only problem is it doesn't know what NPCs to load. So we're going to go down again and we'll create another comment with a slash slash. We'll put in our starter NPC. Now we need to tell it where it is. So the first thing you do is hit NPC colon. That just tells you them that you want to load an NPC. And you want to load the starter. So we start from the NPC folder, NPC slash four dummies slash basics slash starter dot text. Because that is our NPC file. NPC slash four dummies slash basics slash starter dot text. So now, now that we've told the server that within our custom scripts main, we want to load our custom starter.txt. We can go into our server. And keep in mind, we haven't rebooted or anything. We don't need to reboot the server because we have commands to do this all for us. So we can go right in the game. I'm going to move over one space so we can see the NPC load next to me. Oh, well. Let's just put it right there. Yeah, right there. Come on. Lagging a little bit. All right. We're going to at reload script. So it's at symbol reload script. And then we're going to see what happens. And boom. Lo and behold, an NPC appeared. Uh, and you mouse over him, you'll see his name is Starter NPC. I'll see if I can zoom in any further. No. Uh, it's a little hard to read against the white, but it is, in fact, Starter NPC. I'll go up a little higher. Maybe I can put him in a shade. There you go. Starter NPC. Again, the unique name, the pound 001, is not there, but it is uh, attached to that NPC. So if we ever need to call this particular NPC, we can use the entire thing, starter NPC pound 001, and that would be this particular NPC. Um, we can click on them all we want. Nothing happens. We didn't put any commands in there, um, which we'll get to next. But um, that's it for today. We got our first NPC loaded, and uh, next video we'll actually make him do a little bit of something. Thanks.